Hey guys, Shellatech here, and today I'm back again playing Day Shift of Free Speed. This is part four. First video I'm recording in 2019, even though um, part two and three are releasing this year. Th today and like minutes before I'm after I'm record like before or after I'm recording this, the part two's gone up and part three's tomorrow. This will be the day after. So let's get into this, shall we? This will be day four. Yep. Let's see what's in store for us this time. Restaurant's still in business despite Music Man. Music Man is no longer on my premises, I promise. Restaurant owner fleeing premises. <laughs> okay. That, I did not know. Okay, that's just beautiful. Another tycoon segment. I can hardly wait. What do you need, Shadow Tech? Okay, stages. Upgrade it. There you go. Well, now. That is what I call Gordy. Um, can we upgrade again? <laughs> That's a nice stage. Okay, um... <coughs> Renovate. Deluxe. That looks nice. I'm curious, can we upgrade the phone guy again? Nope. Yes. Stanley Johnson worked at Disney World before being fired for mating with a discarded goofy mascot costume. Max Hansen, his criminal record is extensive, but thankfully murdering children is something that he's never done before. You also have Walt Grouse, he's actually a vegetarian Freddy's worker. At lewd conduct with a customer, worked at some kind of Foxy themed strip club. Let's just do this one. Okay. Uh, extra room. I have no money for any rooms. One month later. Well, it's that time of the month again. Am I in heat again? No, you numbskull. It's time to go check on phone and see if there's anything today that you need to know about. Or realistically, any raging infernos that you need to help him with putting out. <coughs> Let's go inside, shall we? What music would you like to um, suffice? This is a nice pizza, yeah? Hi. Hello, oh, alright. Good to see you again, sir. Wait, it is. 
for once? Yeah, sure, why not? You have an ulterior motive. I'm certain of it. Is it that obvious? It's just dots. Your silence doesn't fool me, employee. I know that you despise me. Sir, I don't despise you. I actually really like you. Oh lord. You should have seen the look on your face. You actually thought I was serious, didn't you? Get out. Relax, relax. I'm just joshing you. Angry face. Alright, fine. Let's get down to business. Alright, so... Things have been, admittedly, a little odd here lately. I mean, we've been make, actually making enough money to pay utility bills, which is uh, kind of the kind of a first for this company, unsurprisingly. Wait, how did other Freddy's locations have running water? Well, sure, at least some of the odd locations had electricity. Wait, how did, the, how did other Freddy's locations have running water, sir? Then one place location you, that you worked at that, that had real live running water. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> so we're actually making a profit? Well, we're still paying out the arse and lawsuits, bribes, bleach, and frequent carpet replacements, but. Well, we finished yesterday with 16 cents in the register. That's the first time I've. File taxes and not had to send off a kidney with a tax form just to make our payments. What? Wait, I hate that. Where did you get the kidneys? Doesn't matter. Hey, sir. Do you still have both of your. Sorry, sorry. Silly question. But well, our stupendous windfall of fortune aside. <coughs> Our cust customers have grown antsy lately, and I fear we may have to deal with a PR disaster if we don't address it. <coughs> what are those louts complaining about this time? Just replace the carpet again, and tell them to shut up. <coughs> with the, the usual crap? No, surprisingly, it isn't about customer health, safety, vicious dogs in our restaurant. Or that guy with the phone for her is trying to sedate the loud and obnoxious child by speaking, by spiking the soda with a high strength cough syrup this time. Wait, what? Uh, uh, uh. Well, you know, do you remember that rabbit thing that broke into your restaurant a few months back? The one with the orb she cut in the intestines? You said you threw it out because it smelled like raw hamburger meat and barbecue sauce. Don't mean. Well, clearly, it's also half homing. It's also half homing pigeon, as well as half zombie eggplant rabbit because it came back. Oh no! Throw it out. I did. It's. It keeps sneaking back inside and looming outside. It really wants to find its way into your restaurant for some reason. Look, sir. With all due respect, I'm a manager, not a bouncer. I don't have hawk's eyes. I have very dull on the front of my plastic face. I'm not equipped to deal with this. Plus, you or may not be aware that we're hosting a birthday party this evening. Remember that health inspector? Inspector Bribe, the one where you promised to host this little snot's birthday party? <laughs> yeah, you actually have to come through on that. Ah, uh, crap, I hate responsibility. Yeah, join the club. Watching kids isn't something you can half us. This little hex will climb on any shelf that isn't prim prematurely lubed up with pig's fat and motor oil. I've hosted a thousand birthday parties. And you can eat your own orange ass if you think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna host this birthday party and watch out the cryptids during the party. That's too much, man. <sighs> Fine. I said I can help you prepare for the party. Superb. 
but you ain't failing once 6pm six, 6 rolls around. Like hell I'm not. I've got quality frozen dinners to eat. Sir, those dinners will still be around when the birthday party is all over and done with. That's why they're frozen, you know. Sigh. I don't have a choice, do I? Acceptance is the first step to recovery, sir. It's also the final stage of grief. She can go on instantly by bypassing the other four. Actually, I feel like punching you, crying and bargaining right now. You're probably in denial too. Stuff you are not. Uh huh. Sir, I'm gonna go prepare for the party. Go watch out for Bigfoot and what have yous, and I'll see you at 6 p.m. What are you saying that Bigfoot is real? Good, I'll get out there. Lickety split. I'll choose the top one. I hope not. If he is, I lose a bet. I need to go prepare for the big party. Times are wasting. I'll catch you on the flip side, sir. $87. Let's go to the safe room. I feel like Dave's gonna be in there. Any second. Oh, he's not. Summon Stanley. Clear. Fast. How's it hanging? <coughs> hey, I was wondering Open if you would have to have a chat. Then. How you feel about spring locks? Yup. I love me some spring locks. If I don't steer them, they can't go off, right? Tell me your last job. Oh, before this, I worked over at Disneyland California. I got booted from the company for a misunderstanding involving an amused goofy suit. It's better if I don't specify what happened. Oh. What do you think of your co-workers? Phone's all right. He's a little cynical. Okay, but that's hey, good. At least he doesn't beat me when I'm on lunch, like Walt Disney's Frozen Corpse did. Not gonna ask. That's see ya, sir. Have a good one. Okay, I'm so. Fifty-five dollars. Let's go to the hallway. Twenty seven. Okay, um, storage closet. Oh. We could drink bleach. That's nice to know. One hundred four dollars. That's nice. We got six hundred thirty-two. Crying to a mop. <coughs> so you can see, Music Man's actually gone this time. Security office. Uh, search. <coughs> That's nice. <coughs> Let's go back to the dining area and search around Tomb Six. $100. 
117, yay. Six PM. Let's see what happens this time at the party. Is Dave Chop gonna appear? Uh, uh, oh, here we are. Six PM. Uh, 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 I need to bring something urgent to your attention. Oh, uh, uh, no, the first party that we're meant to host at six PM. No, uh, no which is like right now. Um, good question, boy. Why hasn't that started? Well, the birthday boy is missing. Are you saying? Now look, I know that it's not uncommon for kids to just run off, right? Kids are unpredictable. Thing is though, this kid is two years old. He doesn't know how to walk yet, let alone run. Oh jeez. I don't like where this is going. I have a bad feeling about this, so I suggest we do a sweep of the whole restaurant. I have the building on lockdown. If we're hasty, we're about to find the kid before anyone even notices that anything strange is up. Good, it sounds like a plan. You take the bathroom, I'll take the safe room. Alright, sounds good. Good luck, sir. And we're gonna find Dave. I know it. I just know it. Dave Trap. Oh, well, the feeling is. So, you found me. Bravo. If had I known that I'd find you here. Well, would you sport a retardable? No, sport. That's what the room was built for, wasn't it? Dave, safe rooms are meant to be bleeding out rooms, <laughs> not murder rooms. Minimum wage work and blood. Double is blood. Are you telling me that you can tell the difference? Can you taste the difference? No sport. Sounds like you're the weirdo here. Sport. Not me. Not sport, oh, baby. Dave? I'm not the one abducting a ch kid right now. Oh, get down off your high horse, sport. You murder kids, Dave. None of this is about me. I'm not the bad guy here. I know what you did, no sport. I've been snooping through your company records. Now, looking through your past business ventures. Uh-huh. If there's no need to... You know... I had to wonder, when Vamp 10 described the horror of attraction was set up, it seemed to scream sports. A perverted sentimentality, a fixation on a brand that nobody even cares about anymore, a twisting and horrific. It had you all over. I thought for sure that, if you were still around, I'd spawn you there in no time. And yet, there was never in the whole sport inside. What? Now that I've seen your record, my God, it was so obvious. Uh huh. The force you were inside, working in there. You were the asshole standing outside, throwing gasoline over the building, who gathered all of the pieces in one place, just to burn it all down, with me inside. It's no wonder you didn't salvage me this time. You think you can attempt to burn me alive? And then just kick me yep. out on the kite when yep. you fail to burn me in that fire, along with the rest of the trash that this company has produced. I'm slippery, old sport. I got out of that place and filthy. I didn't mind, and I came back. I always come back. Dave, this isn't personal. I wanted to help you. I wanted to save you too. But you are too dangerous. Look, you just abducted a kid moments ago. You can't let go. You're never going to get better. My only priority now is saving people from you. Sportsy, failing to sack me in place when you had the chance was the biggest mistake that you've ever made. 
This kid's gonna die because of your bad choices. Sports it. You're gonna know what it feels like to play when I did. I need you to leave my restaurant, Dave. Oh, no. Sports it. Stay any closer, and I'll cut this kid's throat. You know I'll do it. Dave, I don't respond well to threats. Get out of here while you still can. There's a whole party out there waiting for that kid. You're out of your element. Out of my element. I don't care if there's a million kids out there or a billion cops. You've chosen poorly, sports it, and this kid is gonna suffer great fucking circumstances because you. Oh, like hella millennia zombie, eggpants rabbit tell me where I can and can't go. <laughs> it's between you and me now, rabbit. Stay any closer, and the kid will get his own fate. Hey, what's that noise? What's going on in here? Hang on, what? Hey, there's a couple... <laughs> Music man! What? <laughs> Music Man alive! Dave? Just back off. You're outnumbered. Swansy, I. I have a message for you, Dave. It comes not only for me, but every child you've hurt inside any Freddy's restaurant. Oh. You're outnumbered. We aren't afraid of you, <coughs> and we aren't gonna let you hurt anyone else. You're outnumbered, Dave, and we aren't gonna tolerate you any longer. Now get the fuck out of my restaurant before I tear you limb from limb. That just happened. Scary orange in suit saves local toddler. Good riddance, rabbit. Local phone. S crap. Green rabbit spotted on site. Am I going straight home or something? This is no other locations. I think we are. I have. I sure have, Dave. Jack. Hello. 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 Oh, hi. Uh, uh, Sorry. Uh, Force of habit. It's good to see you all again. So you guys figure out what we have to do next. We sure have. Sports. We spent quite a while talking it over. Or rather, Stephen and I spent a while talking it over. Or Dave kept changing the topic to his kebab preferences. Hey, it's not my fault. I haven't had one of those in an eternity. I have cravings. I feel like I could write an entire novel about garlic sauce at this point. And well, we know where to go now. One layer down on the deepest layer of the flip side. Or the fourth layer. There isn't just one strong soul reading. There's two. Oh, wait. Did you say two? Yeah, it's a real mystery. Alright. According to the reading we got from the solar meter, Dave fashioned from a Geiger counter some tin foil and an old sock. One of the one of the souls has a strong red soul reading. We think it might be Peter. Really? 
Peter. Peter's on the flip side. Yeah, he probably is. Why do I think the other one's Henry? Henry. Uh, or Fredbear. Uh, you know, it's of great importance to me that we free him. Uh, uh, In life, I screwed him over of cowardice and a lack of integrity. This is a chance for me to redeem myself. Uh, uh, uh. Um, my only chance. You know that we need to free him, Jack. Even if it is dangerous on the final layer. He's our brother. Our flesh and blood. Our flesh and bone. Personally, I never liked the guy. What? I'd rather free him than do nothing here alone for the rest of eternity. So, I'm up for some fuckery. Okay, Dave. That's the spirit, Dave. I should warn you all. Sportsy. Yeah? I don't know what level 4 even looks like. For all we know, it could be full of freaky clowns. What can't die? What can't this clown? I'd like, really like to see a cactus clown. Actually, that's interesting. <laughs> cactus clowns. God. Clowns so pointy that they loudly pop their own balloon at a mouse accidentally. Uh huh. Could be more horrifying than that. I don't know. Being stuck with a phone for a head. Being forced to possess a felt puppet with a ridiculous looking face. Nope. I'm gonna go with can't this clown? Huh. You've never gone down there before. No, I. I'd been too afraid to, admittedly. Why is that? Fear of the unknown? Killer robots? Cactus clowns? No, it's worse than that. Sure, there's nothing worse than cactus clowns. Uh, well, I've heard that if you get down far enough. Well, it's possible to go too deep and end up stuck. Trapped right. on the bedrock layer. I don't know how deep this all goes. Oh. What about the second soul? What do we know about it? it basically nothing. Its reading is completely glitched. We can't pin down anything on about it. Huh. I know who it might be. This could be some sort of trap. It's almost definitely is, but Peter's probably stuck there. We can't let him down. No man left behind. No man left behind. Yep. Uh, uh, no man left behind. Let's leave Dave behind. <laughs> I'm on alligator. Good luck figuring out the way without me. Up uh, uh, Wait, how uh, are we even gonna get down there? I don't see any sort of exit. This is a vile, wicked hive of scum and villainy. Let's go, old sport. It's time to free some prone ass. Dot dot dot. Sorry, some more prone ass. Thank you. Okay. Oh, so what's that side this time? Okay. Would you like to say? Sure. I don't like how it says that though. Okay, save. Wait. So. This is it, I guess. Made of four. This is our house. It looks familiar. Is this. Is this Peter's house? It certainly looks like it, from the little I got to see of it, from the photo he sent us in that letter. I wonder why layer four looks like Peter's house. This is quite strange, admittedly. Spooky, even. I wonder why Peter didn't pass on. Either way, we have to find him. Yeah. I can hardly redeem my crusty sword if we can't find the guy now, can I? Lead the way, Sportsy. If you recognize this room, yeah. you might be able to lead us to him. Huh? That's uh. That's not how that should look.
Guess we're going out. Oh, this place is war on earth. And we hit it out. Something is off about this layer. This place seems to be a mismatch of locations, of memories. Come on, we need to get out of the box to get to the bottom of this. I feel like Henry's the second person here. Now up the stairs. Curious and curiouser. Bullshit, bullshit even. Let's keep exploring. What's this way? Oh, what the? It's all glitching. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Can you and Doggo and fed the thing toys? No, I'm just gonna. It's all glitching, I don't like this. And that's automatic walking. Look, there he is. Peter? Guys, what are you doing here? We're here to save you, you big dumb boy. Oh, oh no. Only. What are you even doing down here? Uh, uh, the Henry what the fuck? Is there a person here that Henry has lost over? Nope. Sorry. Yeah. He's kind of a idiot. Jeez, what yep. is scoundrel? We're here to rescue you. We didn't forget about you. No, you don't understand. You've gone too far down. You can't get back out. This is exactly what he wanted. What? Who wanted? I knew it. It's Henry. I knew it. This was a trap. Jack, I was the bait, and he lured you into his trap. So be it. Oh, there's no point in hiding then. Show yourself, hound. Uh, uh, what? That's... No, it couldn't be. So it's you. I knew you couldn't keep... Wait, Shadow Dog... Wait, what? What kind of accent is that? Speak English, mob. The language we speak in the United States of America. Okay, very well. God, this is weird. What? What is that? This thing exactly? Some kind of shadow doggo, clearly. That is what I am, but that isn't my name. Do none of you know, surely? One of you must know. Well, you're clearly some kind of astral mob. But beyond that, you lost me. I think I remember seeing you once. On the day, Henry. Yes, I am the one that gathered the pieces. We gathered you all here. I'm the gatherer, the savior. I am the hound that dragged Henry Miller away. 
say my name. Blackjack. His name is Blackjack. You're my stray soul. So you do remember. Of course I remember. You know, for a while, I didn't know what you were. I thought you were the ghost of my dog, Sparky, at first. You look so much like him. I thought you were haunting me out of anger. Not being able to save Dee on her birthday. But no. You just simply took his form. The last family member I saw before I died in that bear suit. The one that I got to say any sort of goodbye to. You're the soul that left my body and never returned. You're my stray soul. Like a stray dog, hey, I get it now. I did return. I found you. I guided you. Guided me? You hounded me. Oh, I get it. Hounded. Get it. Because he's a dog. Well, you are all here now. So, we can begin. With all due respect, Mr. Shadow Doggo. Black Jack. Black Jack. Why do you use me to lure them here? What reason could you possibly have to find these four specific souls? Oh, you are part of this too, Peter. You five were carefully selected. And picked for a special purpose. Us five? What purpose do you need us to fulfill that no other five souls could do? Why us? What possible reason could you have to gather the five of us in this place? My guest has never had a visitor before. Your guest? Yes. The Void Walker. The Bear Man. Hen Henry Miller. So, Henry still here, Ken. Hey, after all this time, he's still. Blackjack, with all due respect, I don't think there's a single person out of us five that hasn't had their life ruined by Henry in some massive way. I know that, Stephen. That's the whole idea. Wait, what? Henry Miller, Henry needs to see you five, so he can see the consequences of his actions. The fruits of his ill decisions. W what all of his work has amounted to. I wish to see if Henry is capable of remorse or guilt. And when I have determined for certain that he truly isn't, then we will leave him there in eternal punishment this this isn't right it's n not your job to punish him blackjack and why not he has taken everything from me he has killed my brother my sister myself i am the soul you know he was the hunk of reanimated flesh that thinks you're Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy died in the summer of 1973. You are an abomination. You all are, in one way or another. And I want Henry to see the monsters that he has created. Oh my lord. What on earth? This isn't right. You're not thinking clearly. You've just given the most evil man in the world. You've just ensured that he'll live forever. No hell, no real punishment. He's alive and never has to worry about death. All of this was about death, Blackjack. Henry trying to ab abolish death. Oh. And you did it for him. I 
dragging him to the void between timelines. He'll never age or grow sick or even rot. You think you're punching him, but you've rewarded him. We need justice. We need to an annihilate Hemi Miller. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, there's nothing I'd love more. Uh, uh, Let's smash his uh, dumb uh, pink uh, face in. Guys, I don't know if... What? You wish to? No. He's my prisoner. I will decide what to do with him. I will decide the punishment that he must face. I will leave him where he is to spend the rest of his eternity in darkness. Outside of time, where he doesn't exist. Blackjack. We have to destroy him. What if he ever figured a way out? He's too dangerous to contain. Look at us. We're all broken because of him. We have to put ourselves back together. We must see justice. You don't get to decide what justice is. I've lost everything because of that man. No, that demon. You want him dead as much as we do. Please. No. Blackjack, please just. What are you doing? Blackjack. Stop. Remember. Fence, bring Bonnie, the child. The FNAF for minigame being bitten. then see his steam is incapable of causing anything but misery what up holy fuck how could I have been so that magenta fuck is the biggest threat to our reality we need to destroy him it's the only way yeah please I want this to end too I know you want this to end too been guarding him for 40 years. Aren't you tired? Dot dot dot. Yes, I am tired. Don't you want him to have to face the one thing he feared most? The unknown? Yes. The void is familiar to him now. I want him to feel unfamiliarity. I want him to feel abject terror. You can take us to him. Hemi might have been stronger than all of us on our own. Granted. 
but Henry isn't stronger than all of us put together. We can do this thing. Do you really think we can? Are you really sure we can? Sports is right. There is no greater force than righteous anger. Except maybe love. Yeah, well, you're a sad puppet. Those two are Jones, and me, and Sports does ambies. Let's put the love thing aside and focus on the whole righteous anger idea for now. Oh, yeah. He is correct, sister. So is us strengthened by emotion. While we leave him there, he only gains more spite and thus more power. We must defeat him once and for all before he gains enough power to escape. Well then, what are we waiting for? I, uh, I'm not ready yet. What? You heard the mob. Henry will only get more and more powerful. I never thought I'd say this, but. Dave is correct. It's now or never. I need to finish up something on the other side in reality. Tie up one last loose end. I won't take more than a month, I promise. Dot dot dot. Very well. You have one month. Then I will bring you back here. Thank you, Blackjack. Sincerely, Jack, please be careful. If anything were to happen to you, we need you here to help us beat Henry. Yeah, without you, we that 20% less meat sacks kicking Henry in the balls. That's not exactly ideal. Okay, don't worry. I'll be back. I promise. Well, alright, Jack. Stay safe, brother. I make sure to up that loose end up tight. Yeah, no knots or tangles. Don't worry, guys. I know how to burn a knot, alright. Best of luck, Sportsy. We'll see you on the flip side. Okay. Yep, and then I'm gonna record the last part after this. Okay, guys, that's part four for the moment. I hope you like this video. If you do, if you did, like, comment, and subscribe for more, more videos just like this one. Don't forget to follow my Twitter at ShadowTech, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.